turn it on. So simply, uh, so old school computer has Rhino, so just open Rhino. Uh, what is critical is any so 3D software, make sure that what kind of units you are working with. So I will click inches with large object or inches with small object. So I'll just click large object with inches. If accidentally you just open it using default condition, make sure that whenever you, before you start your working, make sure that which unit you're working on. You can change units here, tools, options, and there's a unit here and make sure that which model units you're working with. That's the first thing. Always. You don't want to scale up and down and then on kind of accidental. And then the right mouse button is pan in top view, front view, right view. I will just create a simple geometry. Mid but middle button is actually give you some contextual menu secondary menu option and actually right mouse button in the perspective is actually orbit and if you double click the name of the perspective you can it, you can enlarge it if you click one more time you can shrink it so if you want to see top view enlarge it double click it if you go to the right button here you can change the visual style of rhino ghosted render it, does, it also have a real-time V-Ray rendering. You may not want to use unless you have very high-speed desktop because it will, whenever you change mouse, it will try, uh, try to render it. And actually, I, I maintain to use wireframe all the time. And then this one is almost exactly, the old commands and function is exactly the same with AutoCAD. So if you are familiar with AutoCAD, you will have no problem. So simply, if you click left mouse button with point, you have to repeat it again to create a point. If you right mouse button, then actually you will select multiple points. Then you can click many points here. To, and then to finish that, as you see, press enter when done. So I will enter to finish this command. To draw a line, there's a series of line here, polyline, line segment. Also, if you click the little uh, triangle at the, at the bottom right corner, uh, there have uh, other options here. So just use it temporarily. This one is simply single line. Next one is polyline. So prob and then after that. So I kind of ask you to draw a sketch which is in scale in grid paper. You can use command picture, picture frame and you can import any image. Uh, let's say I just uh, download any uh, image. Let's say uh, shapes, or, or I will just use plan, any plan, and image. So let's say this one is your design. I save image as. This one is my sketch. And then simply using picture frame, I will import. Where is the image? Okay, I'll just double check. Save image as desk. Oh, it's GIF. Okay. Um, it cannot open GIF, so I will try to another one. So this one is JPEG. I save it as a sketch. And then here, you can open sketch. And to point the origin point, I type 0 or 0, 0, 0, 0. And then I'll using a shift button to align with x axis. And as you can see the sketch in Rhino. And simply you can trace it. So I will draw, I will trace it 
using let's say this one is rectangle like this and then I will just simply hide it then actually you have the traced line so you have let's say you have a sketch of your lighting fixture that you can trace the line and you can laser cut it so how do you unhide it? Uh, unhide? Oh, just hide it. <laughs> yes <laughs> Uh, on high. Oh wow! Actually, no, sorry, that it's actually show oh. button. Oh. And the important thing is actually how to use uh, layers. So there's a layer. Uh, there are mo many layers. You can turn it on and off. Currently, it's what does this mean? Is actually you are in default layer, and actually you may want to organize your uh, geometry on object. So I select it, and he here in properties window, change its layer. Here I would change it to layer 1 then now you see that this one is red silhouette now it has red silhouette which means it is inside layer 1 so if I turn it off you can turn it off and you can turn it on layer 2 so and then after you have this line drawing you can export it export selected and actually you can save it as actually DWG or DXF which means you can laser cut it in AutoCAD. So I will export it as uh, DWG. So this one I call it Sketch. And just simply OK. And then actually you can open the DWG in AutoCAD and then you can use it for laser cutter. So let's say that I have a very fancy shape of lighting. <laughs> and then probably I have uh, some holes for LED legs and, the pro and then actually you can use this one for laser cutting design okay pretty much that's it so uh, 